everyone welcome to my channel so for today's case i'm going to be talking to you about is craig hetherington's case so at the time of his disappearance he was age 22 missing from geesborough in cleveland and he went missing on 22nd of the 2nd 2003 so the Teesside University engineering student was last seen wearing a black and white checkered long sleeve shirt with a white collar and cuffs. There was black cord trousers and black slip on shoes with a silver bar. He also wore a DKNY silver watch on his right hand. The mother of a man who vanished 20 years ago says that the thought that she may never see him again makes her feel very sadder every day. Craig Hetherington from Geesborough was last seen in early hours of Saturday the 22nd of February 2003 on a night out in Middlesbrough. The final confirmed sighting was at 1am um, outside the Corner House nightclub on Albert Road. The then 22 year old was at a Teesside University engineering student. On the anniversary of his disappearance, his mum Sandra Flintoff said, quote, not a day goes by that I don't think of him. Every special day, like birthdays, Mother's Day, Christmas, when families choose to be together, I wonder where he is and if he's still alive and whether he is still thinking of us. The older I get, the sadder it become at the thought that I may never see him again or get to know what actually happened to him. Sandra and Mr. Hetherington's stepfather, Alan, are being supported by Missing People Charity as they launch a fresh new appeal for any information. In the weeks following his disappearance, the police said that there had been no reported sightings and no money had been taken from his bank account. The following year, his photograph was printed on milk cartons available all over the country. Mr. Hetherington is described as six foot two, blue eyes, small scars on the side of his left eye and also on his forehead. In 2007, his mum saw a man of a similar appearance in the background of a BBC television report covering floods that was in Leeds city centre, but officers were unable to trace him. On the 20th anniversary of his disappearance, she told ITV News Time Tees, quote, Five years ago, I was diagnosed with lung cancer. I am frightened that I am about to die before I see him. He had left the pub to go for a taxi, but actually disappeared after walking toward the River Tees and the A66. Mrs Flintoff said, quote, Craig had been to university that day. He handed in a assignment and then he came back and he said that he was meeting some of the boys and they were all going down to town that night and his parting words to me were, put some lasagna on a plate mum, I'll have it when I come in. The lasagna was still there the next day. By the Sunday I was getting really, really worried. We discussed it and then on the Monday morning I went and reported it to the police. She explained how the family trolled the streets handing out missing posters of Craig in bars, restaurants in the town and following a milk bottle which was a missing person campaign. She said the family were given false hope after possible sightings. She said a lady from Rotherham had rang in and said that she thinks she's seen him and the police spoke to the young man in the flat but they didn't think it was Craig but they wanted me to come just to confirm it. This young lad just put his head over the banister at the top of the stairs and looked at me and he just said, I'm sorry, I am not your son, missus. It was very emotional, but it wasn't Craig. Alan Flintoff added, quote, Craig was loved and we desperate to get him back home. If there's anybody out there who can give us any information, one way or another, we'd be glad of that. A Cleveland police spokesperson said, quote, We will always act on any new information that is provided and will welcome information from the public, which may help us to find out what happened to Craig Hetherington. 
Anyone with information is asked to contact Cleveland Police on 101. Independent charity crime stoppers can be contacted anonymously by calling 0800 555-111. In 2007, BBC Breakfast covered floods in Leeds City Centre. During broadcast of the incident, three men were shown in the background, one of which was resembling Craig, according to Sandra. Recording the clip in 2012, in the interview with the Gazette, Sandra said, It was surreal and quite emotional, really. It was such a short clip, but fortunately we have Sky, so we were actually able to rewind it. It's just that decision whether you think, is your mind actually playing tricks on you, or really whether this is your son, and this is the break that we have been waiting for for nine years, she added. The police were informed and investigated that the clip, but the, sadly the three young men could not be identified. Okay, so I'm going to be doing tarot reading on um, Craig Hetherington. So, okay. There's four specific questions I'm using with the tarot cards. Case number one, what happened to Craig Hetherington? Okay, what happened to Craig Hetherington? So we have, so he was going through a ongoing battle. There was a sense of being drained of his energy but he was nearly there, nearly there to where he needed to be. And I feel like he was very close to success. There was a lot of courage, um, learning from past failures and tried gathering up his strength. There was fear of moving on, being in stagnation um, and accepting things. There was um, either bad or disappointing news. There was um, some defensiveness. May have been involvements to do with a player. Okay, so there was um, a father figure here. Um, I see that there was a sense of protection, stability and structure. Um, an authoritative type of figure trying to gain some control. They were shedding the old version of oneself, letting go of people, letting go of possessions or issues. They was returning from a travel or holiday. There may have been restrictions or bad timing. So there may have been some support um, involvements with charity or giving, sharing, um, some kindness, control, um, employment or involvement to do with an investor. 
there was an unrequited love, like a past person, like a past relationship or someone. Um, someone you may have had a one night with, someone that either cheated on him or you cheated with. Um, I feel like someone was a manipulator. There have been some resistant change, trying to avoid anything bad. There was either a new job, self-employment, um, trading, doing hard work, being um, committed to something. Who was involved in the disappearance of Craig Hetherington? Okay, so we have someone that had a lot of unexpected changes, um, someone that had a lot of financial issues, someone that may have lost out on stuff, someone that may have um, been a bit bankrupt. I apologise, my little kitten. I got a new little kitten. Um, trying to knock everything down. <laughs> apologise for that. Um, yeah. So who was involved in the disappearance of Craig Hetherington? Um, so someone that had a lack of independence. Someone um, that didn't have any stability. Didn't have no security. Someone that could be reckless in money involvements. Someone that was indecisive, that had a lot of fear of change and had some restrictive options. Hetherington. Okay, so you may be with a female that may be pushy, demanding, overbearing, self-righteous, busybody or a bully. Okay, so he may actually be a wealthy businessman or he's around a wealthy businessman. Um, I'm seeing this stability, security, provider, a lot of thriving. Okay, so I'm seeing someone that is arrogant, reckless, hyperactive, a daredevil, overly confident, loud and a show off. lover okay what is the final outcome to be for Craig Hetherington's case Okay, so there is a female um, that may be a businesswoman um, with a high social status, a social butterfly. She's very generous, very loyal, um, very successful and wealthy and very independent.
okay so there is loneliness paranoia isolation um being reclusive withdrawal antisocial or being restrictive um so someone is um it could be a male it could also be craig or some other male that's very rude um can be very forceful a bully a dictator impulsive abusive or nasty there is to be um, a turning point some good luck um karma changing cycles changing end of a cycle okay next deck of cards i'm going to be doing is um what is very specific in the area where Craig Hetherington is located. So these can be signs, symbols, photos, pictures, area names, things like that. What is very specific in the area where Craig Hetherington is located? Okay, so we have two. So we have a letter B for the area name. So there is either um, something to do with a basket, so maybe like a picnic area, something that has a basket. There's bats or bat symbols in the area, wild animals and a bell. Letter T for area name. So these could be area names, these could be streets, signs that has these letters. So there is a table, there's children, a tent, a teapot and a seating area. Okay, so there is knots and tangles on something. We have the letter B again. So there's a broom, a bull and a butterfly. Oops, I'm dropping them on the floor. There's a goose, chicken or nest. S in the area name. There's a steeple, a sunrise, a swallow bird, a swan or a sword. And we have a death symbol. So this doesn't necessarily mean a death. This could mean like a cemetery um or else like skull something that represents a death basically but don't necessarily mean a death there's some symbols that like sentry crosses skulls and things like that alligator a bear a bee and a buffalo letter f for the area name we have fire, fish, flag and flowers. Okay, we have letter N. So nail, needle, necklace and nose. <clears throat> okay, we have animals, the animals we use. Geometric shapes like hexagon, oblong, oval or pentagon shapes. Lines, so um, a journey, 
or Rodlings. We have a king, queen, jack, or joker symbols, or a gambling place. Letter A in the area name acorn, anchor, angel, and ants. Letter B again, um, boat, bouquet of flowers, a tree branch, and a bridge. Letter S, there's a saw, scales, scissors, snake, serpent, shark and sheep. So we have letter T, so a train, trees, trident and turtle. Letter A in the area name, apple, archway, arrow and airplane. K, kangaroo, a key, kettle, kite and knife. Letter C, chain, church, clouds and clover. Letter P, penguin pitchfork, pig and pillows, astrology symbols, bird symbols, letter C, a cow, crab, okay so we have the letter C, a cow, a crab, crown, crown and a cross, letter U, so UFO, umbrella, unicorn and urn. Astrology symbols again. Yeah, so these are the letters, signs, symbols. Um, that is in the area where he is located. Okay then everyone, so that is the case of Craig Hetherington and I see you all again next time. Bye bye.